Hey everybody, this is Kencha Potato. Welcome back to Let's Play Golden Sun. The Overworld song has a nice bass line too that I can hear in my in my headphones. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Anyway, so um, in the last episode we figured out that we couldn't go to Colosso. Sad times. So now what are we gonna do? I guess I'm gonna go this away. This better be the right this away. And I totally need to stop getting in these stupid random battles. I think, let's see, am I going the right way? Let's find out. Oh sweet, I got revived, I saw that scroll by. Anyway, this is ridiculous, I definitely, oh, wrong way, crap. Ugh, already tired of these random battles. I'm pretty sure I can buy like, what are they, sacred wings and they lowered the encounter rate, but I'm so lazy. <gasps> Ooh! Found it! Alright, I didn't realize this was back here, but this is perfect. So, I'm gonna kill you, I'm gonna kick your ass, I'm gonna use a scorch, and I'll kick you in the face. Mercury, Jenny, you are gonna die. I turned a little Scorch! Stunned! Hi, kitty! Ah, stop bothering me. Kill it, kill it, and kill it, and kill it. I have to do a couple wishes. That was really, really easy. It's funny how much of a threat the Ginny... The Gin... Gin and Ginny! No, it's, um, it's amazing how much of a threat the Gin really seemed to be... Excuse me, at the beginning of the game. And then how much not of a threat they are, even this way, barely halfway through the game. I don't know, it's just kind of funny to me. Anyway, um, maybe I have to go south. I don't remember now. Let's see. No, but south is... Um... Which freaking way is it? I don't remember. That's not good. And this map is useless? Look at this... Look at this crappy map! Um, shoot. Oh, I'm wasting so much time. Alright, I'm gonna double check. <laughs> if I wasn't bound and determined to not quote my other favorite LPers in these LPs anymore, I would totally pull an NCS from Earthbound. I don't remember where he is in Earthbound, but I just remember. See? Yeah, this is not the right way. And that's not the right way. So it's gotta be up this way. Oh my god, I'm seriously gonna punch this game in the face! This encounter rate is RIDICULOUS! Oh my god, I'm wasting so much time, it's gonna take me forever to do what I need to do! Okay, come on now. Let's try up here. This is it. We're going to this cave. But not before one more random battle decides to piss me off! <laughs> Start gagging a little bit there, sorry. All right, so here we are in At Miller Cave, and ooh, scary music. Now the enemies in here kind of always hone me, so we'll see how well this goes. I'm always healing, and oh my god, it's getting dark. Oh Jesus, Dreadhounds. Um, what are they speak to? Water? I think these are fire-based, so um, bust out some synergy and. Try the ice one. You are skiers, and you've fallen into an ice hole. An ice hole. Help! We've fallen into an ice hole! Ah, it's an ice hole! Ah! I would love to find a recording of that. I need to start paying attention to what these dreadhounds are doing and not quoting crap. Yes, they are fire based. Let's get them feel. My lyrics kind of fell off there. I'm definitely leveling up, though. And we're gonna wish. Just out of curiosity, I have two, all two, I have four Synergy Stones, in case I need them. I probably won't. I'm kind of an item hoard. And by an item hoard, I mean an item hoarder. I hoard items. Anyway, so the gimmick of this cave is everything is dark except for immediately around you, so you have to find your way through 
basically stone mazes, which are a pain in the butt. What do we have here? We've seen these before. So I'm probably gonna cut this part out. Broil! Is that not the gayest? But burp again. Uh, there it goes. Oh no, it was a mimic! Just stop burping. Anyhow. Um, just wish. That's good. It better be good, they're all at full health now. Uh. Nothing this way, right? Nope, nothing that way. Don't like. Ugh. Caught by surprise! Oh no! I really don't like At Miller Cave. Hey, what's that? You can see me! You vaguely, sort of. Do you call that scene? Someone's there. Wrapped in synergetic light, what could it be? You, you know about synergy? And you can see me? I guess. Come on, mister, don't hide. Show yourself! Maybe if I wanted to show myself. As you see, I cannot move. But you're invisible, I can't see. Sir! What do you mean, as you can see? You're invisible. God damn it, Ivan. Why do they always make the jokes after I make the jokes? Except mine are more funny than theirs, and they're not funny at all, which is saying much. Not very saying much. You say you can't move. What happened? Hmm, yes. I ran out of my draught and collapsed here. Draught? Exactly what kind of draught is it? Garrett, I'm surprised you know what a draught is. You couldn't even begin to comprehend if I tried to tell you. <laughs> you seem to be in a lot of pain. Your life depends on that draught, huh? It does. Could you do me a favor? A favor? What is it? I'd like you to get my draught for me. Get it? Where is it? Deep in this cave. Yeah, of course it's deep in the cave. I've barely gone in. What? Is there a pharmacy down there? <laughs> Pretty, aren't we? I'll have to tell you how to find it. Can you do this for me? Yeah. This old man voice is not gonna last very long. Are you kidding, Isaac? We haven't even actually seen this guy. He said he couldn't move if he wanted to, right? If someone is in trouble, it's only natural to want to help. I agree with Ivan. Whoever he is, he needs our help. Fine, okay, we should help people in need. Is that better? Yeah, we're not, we're not evil here. Will you get it for me? We might be, mm -hmm. no, we're lawful good. What do we have to do to get your draught? First, you'll have to go deep into the cave. You'll find five rocks to get up out of the ground. Rotate the rocks on the left and right sides. When you turn the rocks in the right order, Five colored lights will appear. Colored lights? That sounds weird. That's right. Lights will appear on the wall. There will be five colors. Blue, green, white, yellow, and red. Okay. Turn the five rocks in accordance. I'm done with this. I'm done with this voice. I'm sorry. I can't keep doing it. It's dumb. It didn't turn out like I wanted it to. Right. Spin the rocks in accordance with the color of the light. Blue light corresponds to the rock on the left. In order, the other rocks are... So the order of the rocks is blue, green, white, yellow, red. Okay. Blue, green, white, yellow, red. Thank you, Ivan. If you do it correctly, a hidden door will open! Woo! Door? Somewhere deep in a cave? Who put it there? Your mom put it there! An ancient civilization? No, I'm gonna call shenanigans on that. It's been a while since I played this first game, and um, knowing what I know, I might wait. I might have to call shenanigans on that. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you for that great word of wisdom. I might not have been able to. There's rocks there. I might not have been able to find it. I would have looked all over. I would have never looked on that table. Whites and golems. 
Ragnarok is my favorite sign chain in this game. It just looks so epic. Blair Storm, let's do this crap. Tornado. Ragnarok. Giant exploding sword doom! Pew! Pew! I like it when I can get it all done in just one little one little explosion. And I don't have to worry about anything else. Way. I'm last! That's not the way. This is the way, right? Yes. Okay. Oh, the shadows are gone. How convenient. And that means this is the floor with a Jupiter Jitty! Hooray! And the puzzle! Hooray! Let's see. I always forget how to do this right. So let me look at it for a second and then we'll figure it out. So, I think I need to, because the trick is, you can walk behind these pipes, it's funny, I like appear and disappear very suddenly, look, boop, 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 boop. ha, I'm hidden behind the rock, I'm not supposed to be hidden behind, anyway, so what I need to do, no, don't jump, stop jumping over it! Um, 
God, no. You can't do that game blind. You'd be sitting there for hours. I know better than that. Um, I'm, I'm talking about the seventh guest for PC from back in the 90s. Um, that, I'm saying... Uh, what was I just saying? Um, yeah, it's an old PC game from the 90s called The Seventh Guest. And it was like a horror slash puzzle game. And it was, um... Let's see. Oh, the clay gargoyle. He's an one. Um, it was a horror slash puzzle game. And it's notorious for being balls hard. Like, stupidly, you would never figure that out in a million years hard. And I think it would be interesting to LP, because a lot of people LP older games that are nostalgic for them, at least from what I've seen. And um, I would say, like, Nintendo games are the most popular things to LP, and then maybe some PC games. I've seen people LP PC games, like um, I've seen, I've watched a lot of the Leisure Shoot Larry. My god, that took forever. Okay, heals. I don't know, I find um, the old PC games really interesting for some reason. They're vaguely nostalgic for me. I think my dad played uh, Space Quest sometimes. And, um, I don't know, anyway. Um, I might talk about this a later time, or I might not continue at all. But anyway, um, this is far enough for now, and on uh, the next episode we'll go into this, this cave here and see what we can find. So thanks for watching. This has been Kendra Potato. See you later.